Okay, this is a brand new Samsung Windows 8 developer preview tablet. It's about 900 grams, it's about 14 millimeters thick, and it's powered by a core i5 processor. Um, I've already set it up um, because the setup process uh, takes quite a while. Um, there's lots of finalizing your installation. Um, so I'm just gonna, this is a, a cold boot, I guess. So you'll be able to see how fast uh, the boot is. Oh no, that's a hibernate. Let's show you a cold boot. Okay, here we go, a cold boot. It's a Samsung tablet. It's about about 10 seconds, pretty fast, but for a core for i5, not too fast. So here you go, Windows 8. This is the Metro style start screen. Here's the desktop, which as, as we know, is just its own app now. By hitting here, we go straight back to the start screen. But we can open uh, Internet Explorer if we like. Open MSN. Let's see a, a proper website. There we go. And then we have, uh, just like Windows Phone Seven, we have we have toolbars on the side. So we have five main features that are always available in every app. Uh, think of them as primary paradigms, I guess. Um, search. Uh, any app can ask to be part of search. Uh, and you can also search apps and settings and files. This is just like the start menu search. So we can search for task manager. We have build selected. Let's, uh, let's have apps. Task manager. As you can see, this is an Explorer. It's not in Metro. Uh, there is no Metro uh, Task Manager. Immediately, we can see there's a lot more detail in uh, the new Task Manager. Uh, but there is also, this is the, the movie friendly, this is the default Task Manager, should we say, um, where you can just see the currently running apps. So you can just select Internet Explorer. You can end task, very easy. And then we have more details. And then here we have a standard task manager screen. Performance, which is much the same, but slightly more metro in appearance, I guess. Uh, the app history, which is every app on the computer, which is quite cool. Uh, it shows uh, all the CPU time that any app has ever used, all the network transfer, which is useful if you're on a metered connection, and it even shows you metered network uh, traffic. Uh, we have startup, which replaces MS config, at long, la at long last, users, details. Uh, oh, this is quite cool. You can you can search. How do we get a context menu? Is it click and hold? I have no idea. Oh dear. Anyway, uh, you can search uh, for each of these EXEs uh, on Bing or Google, and you have services. Okay, let's go back to the start screen. Task Manager. Um, okay. Anyway, uh, let's show you an app. Here's some news. I've already added a few streams. Uh, these are just placeholder apps. Uh, when the OS is finally released, there'll be uh, more apps. So we can scroll along. Uh, I think we can. As you'll see, uh, there's no modes in Windows 8. Uh, you select a tile just by dragging down, and then you can do whatever you like with it. Uh, magazineify over here. And this turns it into some kind of magazine if I have more feeds. Uh, I think I'm meant to be able to add, add these to my start screen. But I'm not sure how. Add feeds? No. 
Okay. What else can I show you? Uh, if I had, I, yeah, here we go. So here we have the multitasking. Here's the Explorer. Here we have the News. Explorer and News. And if we take it and hold, this is called Snap, which is functionally identical to Aero Snap. Um, well, we should open something over here so I can show you it. Uh, let's open the Explorer. So this is the new Explorer that we talked about with the ribbon across the top. And we can snap it either on the left, or sorry, on the side, which is a small view. So you could have a few tiles here, and these are live views, uh, like Windows 7, uh, Aero, Flip. Um, or you can have it as a full view. Oh, I've lost. Ah, okay. Anyway, uh, let's talk more about the right side menu, because this is one of the larger features. Oh, we have settings. Uh, some. Hmm. So you have system settings, but you also have uh, app settings available from the screen. Although I can't see them from here. Ah, oh, interesting. That's like a permissions thing. It tells me that this app can use your internet connection. Okay. Anyway, so this is like the system tray down here. We have the wireless connection, sound, brightness it in the middle, power, notifications, you can ah, disable notifications, okay. Uh, what else do we have? We have devices, which unfortunately I don't have any plugged in, but if I had, it would appear below here. So if I plug the printer in, it would just magically appear. Uh, it seems Microsoft has done a lot of work on uh, class USB drivers. Um, so most printers and most what was it USB storage devices uh, will just work when you plug them in. Uh, and what else? We have share, which is probably the best feature. Uh, hang on, let's drill down into an actual site. Hopefully. Okay. So say we want to share some XKCD. Oh, this is very pretty. We can zoom in, I presume. Ah, okay. We can just click like that. So, let's say we want to share this. So, like Android, um, every app can expose the, uh, they call it contracts, uh, but it's very similar to intents in Android. Uh, so, an app can say that it is available for sharing. So, in this case, Twitter, Rama, and Socialite are available to share. So, we click. I haven't signed in in this case, um, but I would click Tweetorama, and then I would just simply share it like this. Um, and Socialite, I think, is a, an app for Facebook. Yeah, there we go, Facebook. And so sharing any page or, or any app or any uh, URL is just a matter of dragging on the right and clicking share, which is very easy. Uh, okay, what else can I show you? Uh, let's go to show you the basic control panel. Um, some system applets are in Metro style, like Control Panel, um, and some, like the Task Manager, are only available in Explorer. Um, this is, I presume, some applets are better suited to Metro if they're simple, like Control Panel, um, and Task Manager wouldn't really work in the Metro style. Uh, so here we can choose uh, a lock screen picture. And we can also choose a user tile. I don't know if you can see that, but it's my ugly face. There's a webcam up here. Uh, I can s fix Windows Update is on here. Ease of use, share. Uh, it seems I can, for example, disable the apps that appear from the share menu. Uh, what else do we have? Privacy. Uh, notifications, which I've made it so Build and Internet Explorer can't provide notifications. And I think that's about it in there. Anything else I can show you? We have the store. This is the app store, hopefully. Or it's a black screen. Oh, I can see my, you saw my face for a split second there. Ah, okay, well they showed this today, um, but obviously it's not available in this version of Windows Developer Preview. Uh, what else can I show you? Uh, we have oh, we have all the developer tools. 
develop a command prompt. <sighs> Exciting. <laughs> there we go. You can see me switching. It's very fast, but it is a Core i5, uh, so you'd be surprised if it wasn't fast. Uh, okay, what else have we got? Uh, have I shown you select things by dragging over? So you, you drag, ah, oh, so you just, there you go, I've picked it up. And because it's multi-touch, oh, no, it is multi-touch, I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's multi-touch. So you can just select it by, there's no modes, so you just drag over to select, and then you can uninstall, you can make the icon smaller, you can see, you can make this one smaller. Maybe we can make it a big one. How do I make it bigger? Hmm, I can't make them any bigger than that, apparently. Only smaller. And here I can unpin it, which disappears it entirely. Can I... I don't know how I... It doesn't seem like you can add anything from this screen. You can only add it from inside apps. So let me see if I can add something again. I failed last time. I think that's slow because of my internet connection more than anything else. Okay, so how do I, do I have a mix? How do I? Hmm. How do I add it to my home screen? I, I do this, I think. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's a brief introduction to uh, Windows 8 Developer Preview. Uh, it still has a long way to go, um, but it looks very smooth, and now you have some idea of how it actually uh, plays with in practice.